Right, lately I've started making some motorbike edits onto cell phones. A lot of people have been asking me how do I do it, so I thought I'd make a video to show how, it's, how I do it. You want to start off, you want to get a photo of wherever you want the phone, just place the phone down, get the photo you want. Indoors or out, don't matter. Just make sure the phone's nice and in focus. As well, make sure you move the phone around for different angles so that you can pick the best angle in the end. Choose the, ph choose the other photo you want of the bike or whatever you're going to put on it. Adjust the settings in Lightroom before you take it to Photoshop. Alright, put it into Photoshop. Get the motorbike photo. Copy that. Put that on another layer on top of the phone. Turn down the opacity a bit so you can see through it. And line it up roughly where you want it. And then the worst bit is cutting it out. You just have to go as close as you can, cut it out. You're best ready to use the pen tool, but the magnetic lasso tool is works sometimes as well. The pen tool's better. Or cut the majority out with the lasso and then come back with a pen and do the tires and stuff like that. Clean it up, and now you've got the cut out. So, on another layer, copy and paste the cut out onto another layer, and then bring the other background back from the original layer, and click a layer mask, and start masking away what you don't want and adding in what you do. You get cut out anything what you'd be able to see through. Just clean it up. I oh, would then duplicate the layer of the one you cut out and flip it uh, vertical and drop it underneath like that and that way you can drop a reflection down onto the table in this case just get the wheels lined up turn the opacity down so it looks a little bit more like a reflection and rub out anything you don't want with the mask mask it again That's it, you've got the photo you want. This is how it looks in Lightroom when it's ready to print. Just make sure you pick a nice sharp photo. And then just, this was the photo we chose in the end out of the three or four that I did. 